All right, what you're looking at here is my Claude 3 LearnWire prompt where I've been uh, taking my long form YouTube videos, then I'm getting the transcript from them from Descript, right? And then I'm using this advanced prompt and you can see how long this prompt is. Look at this advanced prompt right here, starting from right here. And this is the way I was using this for a long time before Claude recently just came out with their new projects feature. And their projects feature is basically like ChatGPT creating the GPT feature, right? Now, as you know, I like Claude better for writing. I think it just does a better job and there's a lot of people that agree with me with that. And so it's been nice, it's, it's nice that they came out with this feature. And what I need, what I need to do is turn this long prompt that I've been using and turn it into, you know, I used to have to do this in a kind of a strategic way to get the output. It would take a couple of different steps and so forth. But here's what we're going to do is we're going to go into Claude and what you do is you go in to projects and you start a new project. Okay. And this is going to basically be compared to like a GPT only. I think it's more advanced and it's even going to come out more quality and better. But let's see what kind of results we can get. Now, if there's any uh, question on if this actually works, then we can come over here and go into LearnWire right over here. And you'll be able to see all these rankings right over here. And if I go and just look at Claude right here, all the articles that I'm writing with this method using in Claude, just pasting my transcript and saying, write a blog post. Of course, there's very, it's very brand voice oriented because you saw how long my prompt is. It's not just pasting the the script from Descript and then saying, write a blog post. It's not, it's not that simple, but you can see we're getting page one rankings right over here. So this definitely works, but let's go and build this prompt. Okay. So here's what it looks like. This is what, where we're going to like paste our new script and paste our, maybe the title that we want or something like that. So we're not going to put that in right there. Of course I want Claude three sonnet, but what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and you have your custom set of instructions. That's going to be like the, the prompt itself, the set of instructions to how Claude should behave and respond for chats in this project. But then we can also add content, which is a knowledge base of content, right? So I'm going to go add text. We're going to start off with this and we're going to say learn wire transcript one. And then I need to go and grab some transcripts. So if I come in here, let's just go, maybe here's pickaxe. Here's a really nice one that I just recorded. And we're going to go ahead and just control A, copy all that transcript there and come back into Claude and paste that in. It doesn't look like we have limits in here, which is super cool. I'm going to say add content. And then we're going to go and add some more. And you can upload files as well. Add text content right here. Learn wire article or transcript. And then I'm gonna go and grab another one, whatever one I think is a good example. Content boom, that's another nice example. 30 minutes of text right here, so it's plenty. We're gonna go Control A, we're gonna copy that, and go back into Claude, and we're gonna paste that in right there. It gives a rating, all that kind of good stuff, right? So add content. So that's good enough to get us started. That's a ton of content. It's almost an hour of tra transcription, thousands of words. So we're good right there. So it's uploading for us right now. And you can put a lot of knowledge base. We only used 11% of the knowledge base in this project. Super, super cool. <clears throat> so now we need to work on the set of custom instructions right here. And what I'm going to do is come back over here and read through this. So this is like a backstory. It tells me, uh, it can tell Claude where all the stuff is. I want this prompt to take my YouTube videos. So I'm actually going to just go and put this in more as a, as a backstory. Or maybe this part right here, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and X that or cut that and bring it down to the prompt. And I'm going to paste it in right there. We're going to come back and do that part in a second. But we have a backstory. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Come back over to Claude. And we're going to exit out of that. I want some more knowledge base. We're going to go with text. And we're going to say learn wire about and backstory. I'm going to go paste this in. And then I'm also going to go over to my learn wire site and go to the about page. And then I'm going to go and copy the about page right here, which gives some good data as well. And we'll put that in right here and then push add content. So we have our about page and backstory. So it has plenty of knowledge about what our brand voice is, what we do. 
And now we can, I think we can go and start doing some custom instructions right over here. So we're going to come through here and you guys can do this sort of thing. I was using a summary of, because you couldn't, you didn't want to get too long of a prompt, right? And I'm going to mess around with LSI NLP keywords. You could also come up with something like going and researching what your NLP's keywords are, maybe a neuron writer or something like that, and then using those and pasting those in. But I'm not going to do that on this first take because I don't think it's necessary. And it is a whole other step that it's just not necessary, I don't think. And right here, I'm going to say now using the knowledge, knowledge base information, I'm going to specifically say the project knowledge and it just says project knowledge. So I'm going to go ahead and say, just say project knowledge information. I'll give you the name of the software and paste my YouTube script. You will take this information and follow the instructions. So we're going to follow the part right here, set custom instructions for the project. So right there, and we're going to put that over here. You will take this information and follow the right here. And I'm going to paste that in. And I'm going to actually even put it in quotes. So it's very specific. A set of custom instructions for project. Those are the quotes. And I might even just bold that so I kind of see where it's at. And I don't need this part in here below. So now using the project knowledge information, I will give you the name of the software and paste my YouTube script. You will take the information from the set custom instructions for project below to write a perfect, and I'll just get rid of this part right here. Write a perfect well SEO optimized blog post for my blog, please. And then right here, I'm gonna go ahead and just move this down and I'm going to strike through because I don't wanna use this, but I don't, also don't wanna you know, forget about it. So I'm gonna go to just format and do a strike through right there. So this is part of the instructions right here. I need to move this down to the prompt right over here. So I'm going to insert this about right here where it seems appropriate. So it does have the instructions are right here. It has even more kind of fill information about the project each time. And then here's where the it really gets kicked off. And then here is specific writing guidelines. So we're going to put that in as well. I'm going to uh, bold that as well. All right, so we might have to mess around with this and we'll see what the results we, that we get are, but you can see that we have a nice instruction set of instructions right over here. It tells it exactly the format and so forth. Now write the blog post in this format. Note in the below instructions when I say product name, don't write product name, write the product name of the software we're writing back. Okay, so that is a detailed spot in the, in the instructions, but we'll see how that plays out. So instructions and prompt. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this all the way down to about right here. Even where I tell it to make a nice table, you can see when I talk about pricing of the software, make a nice table for it. So I'm gonna copy this, go back into Claude, and I'm gonna paste this in right here. And it it all shows up right there. So it's still, and I'm not showing any character maxes right there, which is super cool. You can get very, very elaborate and advanced right here, but you all, we have to test our results, right? So I'm gonna save the instructions. So these are all things that like, <laughs> I had to uh, kind of write all these, the backstory and the YouTube summaries and so forth. I had to put that all into one giant prompt and it, and the copying and pasting kind of got, it gets tedious. And so we really want to see how well this can perform for us. So right over here, if everything works, we should be able to paste our script and put the title and it should be able to go to work for us. I'm not sure if we specified how long we want, but we did specify right here, two, four, six, a thousand, about 1400 words right here. So we'll see if it's capable of doing that, writing more than about 800 words. I haven't been able to get more than about 800 words, no matter what I try to do with this, but we'll see. I don't think I've tried this with 3.5 Sonnet, so we'll see if it works. So we've got our project and now we're gonna go, and you can just go right into testing, which is super cool. So let's go write our first article, go back to the site and just see what I have published so far. Okay, so let's go and grab content boom. I think that this will be great. So I'm going to go control A, control copy. We'll go back into Claude and we'll say, we'll paste that in. See, so we're pasting that in. And then we're also saying content boom right there. So that's the product. And I don't know if I, 
I have to go back and look at the instructions. Do I want to put the title right here or do I want to put content boom review? We will see what it does for our first test. I'm going to go ahead and push enter and we'll see what ends up happening right here. So here's a, a draft blog post based on your review of Content Boom. So Content Boom review an AI powered WordPress plugin. So it gave us a title. It's in Markdown format right here. Content Boom is a new WordPress plugin that aims to simplify the content creation and SEO optimization process as someone who, <clears throat> so right here is what I'm looking for, right? This is what other softwares just cannot do. As someone who has reviewed countless AI writing tools, I was eager to see if Content Boom could deliver on its promises. Let's dive into what this tool offers and how it performs. So very short, no fluff, to the point introduction, perfect right there. It did Content Boom review, perfect title, and it gave us you know a little bit more uh, enticing title to click on. I might wanna uh, put in here that I want it to be a certain amount of characters because that's a little bit of a long title. Content page, content boom, sales page, and info. Content, oh, right, so we've got all that. Integration with popular language models like GPT-4. What caught my eye was that content boom isn't a cloud-based tool, but a WordPress plugin. So, so far, all this is factual. It's all based on, this is all very tone-based uh, on my brand and the way that I speak. And then it's based on the transcript that actually came from a video that I actually reviewed the software for 30 minutes, right? You can't, no one else will be able to write an exact article like this, um, but myself, because I'm the one that went out there and did a 30 minute review. Let's keep going. And, and I love the way that this writes. This is writing better than anything that I've seen out there. Just seriously, this is great. The one standout feature is the ability to choose which. And so let me just pause and say that this is going to work really, really well if you're running a YouTube channel and you want to do, you know, podcasting or video first blogging approach, this is a perfect way to do this. I think right now, if you're going out there and building niche websites, this is probably not going to be the best way because you're not going to have that brand voice. You're going to be going to multiple different websites and you know, there's, it's just not going to work. And so this is really good for a video first approach. Okay, guys. So we have the pricing, we have tier one, two, three, and four. Now I need to go and look at content boom over here. Let's go to the plans and features. So license, ah, license tier one is 39, tier two is 89. So we've got 39, 89, we've got 149 and 269. 149 and it's 100% accurate. Look at this factual information. And even when um, AI goes out there and researches content, scrapes the web and all that, we already know that it can't handle this type, this quality of accuracy, right? So this is very, very optimized, very, very factual based on facts that I did in my review. So super cool. And it did, it listened to me. I said to make a table, it made a table for us, right? So this is just, it just, it just gets better and better. Okay. So we have this bring your own key. It's covering everything that we wanted. Now it's going to content boom, demo and features, set up an installation. We've got AI meta dashboard. And then we have, I mean, and look at the paragraph sizes. They're very small. I mean, I, I honestly am just, I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away at the, its ability on the first run for it to write a perfect article in my branding tone in first person in an authoritative expert expertise type of voice. It's factual information. I haven't seen one non-fact so far. And it's impressive, even the writing itself, it's not right using um, those AI words because I have a list in the prompt not to use things like in today's digital landscape and all those kind of things, right? So hopefully you guys are seeing this. This is just blow, mind blowing, really, it's mind blowing. AI text generator, we've got right here. And look at all these paragraphs are literally like one to two sentences. And that's exactly what you want, right? That's exactly what you want in writing. Easy on the eyes, easy for people to um, read. This is helpful content right here. Image compression. Uh, in my test, it reduced image sizes by 15 to 40%, which can significantly, because I think I did two tests. The first one, it did not do very well, but then I did another article and it did shrink them down quite a bit. So that's good. Blog content uh, generator, content boom, final thoughts. Go, and then we have our rating. I mean, this is just very impressive, guys. So we have our final thoughts. I talk about, you know, what, what the strengths and weaknesses are. And then my final thoughts over here, my rating. And that's something that I, you guys have noticed I've been doing over the last several months. I rate, I make sure to rate every single software at the end of the review. 
The softwares that I review, I make sure to do video stamps for you guys or video chapters, make it easy for you guys to navigate my videos, which is awesome. But I can't do those for those for uh, Michaela's videos because they are not, I don't have, uh, access, she's not editing those in Descript or anything like that. It would take a lot of steps for me to upload that into Descript and do all that. And I'm just not doing that right now. But all the videos that I, uh, the softwares that I rate, I do give it a rating, which I think is great and helpful for people. And it's just a bot. It's, you know, it's my own experience. It's only one person that's rating it. Some other people would, would definitely rate it differently, right? So we have content rating. I'm giving Content Boom a rating of four out of five. And that's, a, that's what I gave it. The tool earns uh, points for seamless WordPress integration, comprehensive feature set, fast content generation, unlimited image compression, promising roadmap. And those are 100% the reasons why I gave it a four and the things that I liked about it. It loses points due to an alt text generation bug, limited control over AI writing style, and some AI generated content requiring significant editing. This is, this is the most impressive AI that I have seen, period. This is truly, I can't stress it enough how impress, impressive this is, the, the content quality that we're getting right here. What do you guys think below? And then it finally ends with a italicized quotation like I asked. Content Boom brings a fresh twist to AI writing tools with its WordPress native approach. While it has room for improvement, it is a solid start that could revolutionize how we create and optimize content in WordPress. Boom, all right? So this is just ready to go right out of the box. We've got our, all I had to do is paste the transcript and put the product in there and it just completely just ate through this. Now, how many words did it create for us? It looks like about 800 words. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do much better than that. Let's go and look at it. It did 859 words. And you know what? At the end of the day, an 800 word right to the point gives you all the information. Let's just face it. Most people are not going to read any more than 800 words on a page about this a software anyways. So I really, really like that it can at least do 800 words. I think it's perfect for what I'm doing. Now, if you need those 1500 to 2000 word articles written, that's when those other softwares, the proprietary softwares, if you can get close to this, but then get those 1500 words to 2000 words, you know, like a journalist, I've been making a couple of videos on journalists. I think that you can get, you can get those 2000 word articles and you can really train the AI. Reword is another really, really good one as well, where you could get your 2000 word article easily and use knowledge bases and used uh, tones and so forth. And that's where those other softwares come in. And that's the difference between the two different methods. But in my case right here, I'm looking for about an 800 word article in one fell swoop right here. And it's just perfect. What do you guys think? I just wanted to show you, we literally built this basically uh, an AI writing tool for myself based on just using projects, right? This is super cool. I'm gonna go and upload this and I'm going to be tracking how fast this actually ranks, if it ranks and so forth. And I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks so much for joining. Make sure to subscribe to Learn Wire for more videos like this, SEO videos, ranking videos, AI writing videos, and of course, your software review videos. We'll see you next time.